Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a haul video for you. This is my iMats haul. Um, whether you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have seen that I got quite a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try and go through it as quickly as possible for you, but I will do some swatches of different products because I'm dying to swatch the stuff because I've not done so yet. I had a little play with the brushes and they're all amazing and soft, so let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to go with the first bag that's to hand, and that is the Bidelium Tools bag. So I got a couple of different brushes from them. Just take those out. I got the pink bamboo ones because they're just so pretty. So the first one I got was the 974 brush, which is just a sort of tapered powder brush. It's really nice. The next one I got from them is the 944 brush, which is a sort of highlighting brush just for the apples or cheeks, and the 945 brush which is sort of a small contour brush. Then I got three different eye brushes from them. So I got the 785, which is a blending brush, the 783, which is sort of a crease brush, and then the 776, which is sort of a shader brush. These are all really soft and I'm really glad that I picked some up. I can't wait to sort of try them out, but I do like to wash all my brushes before I use them for the first time. So I will get to play with these hopefully pretty soon. The next bag I've got here is the Makeup Forever, and this bag is just so cute. Um, so initially I was just going to get one of their HD concealers, because I wanted to give it a try. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, they shade matched me to R32, so I'm hoping that it is all okay. But this was just £11.50, and usually this retails for £20, so I was so glad I picked that up. I'm just hoping that it isn't that amazing for me to want to buy a £20 concealer, but can't wait to try that out. The next thing I got um, was something that I thought I didn't need because I've got a lot of palettes, especially a lot of neutral palettes, but I picked up the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows um, Shadows 1 set, which is the neutral palette. I'll just open that up. I basically saw the palette there. I don't think it's even actually available in the UK, um, but I saw it there, swatched it, and I was just like, okay, I do need it. I do. So that's the palette. Very nice. So I just dug my finger into one of them. It's the black one though, so not quite as bad as it could have been. So let's do a couple of swatches. Oh, very, very soft. Another shade. Oh, that's the six shades there. This one here was quite a light one. Just a nice, like, cooly shade. They're all very nice, and I can't wait to actually play with them. So the next door I went to was Love Makeup. Um, I actually did sort of two separate buys with them. Initially, I picked up the Zoeva items that I've got. Um, so I got the Rose Gold Eye Brush Set. They didn't have the normal ones, so, and I really wanted it, so I had to get the rose gold. Just had to happen. So this is all of the brushes that come with that. I think it's 12. One, two, yeah, and they're all really soft. They're all really nice, um, and I can't wait to use those also. Um, you get quite a few in here. You've got a smudger, a Lux Defined Crease. Then a shader, a concealer buffer, a fine liner brush, then we've got a soft definer, so it's kind of like a blending shader brush, then a luxe petite crease, there's a luxe pencil, crease brush, that looks quite big, I mean you could use it for crease but also blending, then we've got a brown liner, a wing liner and a detail shader. So those are the 12 that came in that set. I also picked up another Zoeva brush, it's the Lux Highlighter. And again, I mean, they are literally like heaven, these brushes, they are so soft, it's amazing. So I can't wait to try that one out. And then also from Zoeva, I picked up the Coco Blend palette. So I've heard a lot of people say a lot of very good things about this. So I wanted to give it a try. 
Um, these don't come with mirrors in them, but that's the palette there. And let's do a couple of swatches. Hmm. Oh, these are soft, guys. Very nice. Oh, the pigmentation on these is very good. Love this shade. Very, very nice. If there's any particular tutorials you'd like to see or any particular reviews or anything like that for any of the stuff that I've got here um, that you'd like to see as soon as possible uh, or it's something that you want to see most, then just let me know and I'll get that one done first. Also then from Love Makeup I picked up a new Z palette, um, I just got that in the large pink one, these were £12.50, um, I can't remember the prices of everything offhand but if you want to know just let me um, request it in the comments below and I'll get those up for you, so I just got another Z palette and then I got this little baby. Now I think these are way crazy expensive, um, these were down to £45 with Vise Art Shadows. So I got the neutral matte, and that's like that. So now I'm going to swatch it, and I really, really hope this is good because it's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette. Like, yes, it was fifteen pound off, but forty five pounds still expensive, and it's not big. It's tiny. So let's see which shade shall we look at. Let's go for a light one. I mean they're nice, <laughs> um, they certainly swatch okay, but my first thoughts is they're kind of a little bit chalky, so we'll see how that goes and hopefully they don't feel like that on the eyes because that's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette and if I end up not liking it that really is a waste, so hopefully it'll be fine. Um, I think it'll be a really good one to pair with the Makeup Forever because that one sort of basically is all shimmer. And this is all matte, so it'll be good ones to use as one. So the next place I went to was Inglot. And from them, the first thing I picked up was Duraline. So I got this to use for um, basically any cream or gel products, like my brow pomades and things like that, to help bring them back to life. Because um, I heard that's really good for that, so I've got that one. And this was on offer for £6 at the show, so I believe it was 40% discount that they had. Um, I did two separate orders with them, so I got two little samples. I got a sample of the mattifying under makeup base and just the normal under makeup base. Then I picked up one of their Freedom Systems and I made my own palette. So I got five different shades with them. So this is the palette that I made and that's how that lid comes off. So I've got the shades 353, 07, 342, 12 and 329. So I'll swatch a couple of these again. I've not sort of well, I did swatch them when I was there and picked particular shades out that I wanted. Um, but I'll just show you a couple of shades. I'll go with the shimmery one. Oh, that's down there. And that gold is just so pretty. I say that a lot, don't I? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Everything's pretty. Well, it should be, otherwise, why am I buying it? <laughs> But that was a really good offer that they did on that. I believe it was um, for the palette and the five colours, it was £25. So I thought that was quite good. So that's what I got from Inglot. Uh, the next bag I've got here is from Stargazer. I just picked up a couple of glitters from them. I got this one here. Um... I don't know if it's of the shades. Oh, pink Nubella and hologram. And then I picked up two of their little glitter gel fixers or glitter fixing gels, even. Get it right? So I just did a little bit from them. And then the next one I went to was Crown Brush or the next bag I've got here. I'm not doing it in the same order as they went round. So with Crown, I looked on the website beforehand and there was three brushes that I wanted to get. So obviously I came away with seven brushes. 
Um, luckily I did actually get two of the ones I wanted. So two of the ones that were on my list was the SS035, which is the medium face contour. Um, it's kind of similar to the buffing brush by Real Techniques. The sort of end there. And you, so you could use it as a contour brush or you could use it for bronzer or you can use it for foundation depending on what you fancy. The other one that I got for, which was on my list was the SS036, which is the small cheap contour. Um, that's the way that is. And these brushes are all really soft, they're very nice. I then picked up this one, which is the C454, just sort of just an angled one. You could use it for contouring, either sort of your face or your nose, depending on what you fancied. Um, but I just thought this was a really nice looking brush and it was very really soft and I didn't really have anything like it. Then I've got a couple of eye brushes here. So I got this one, which doesn't have a name, it just looks like a sort of general blending brush. Or you could use it in the crease. Then I got a shader brush, which actually I think would be really good as sort of potentially a nose contour. Again, this one doesn't have a number on it, unfortunately. The next one I got was the SS012, which is the deluxe crease. And um, that's just a small crease brush. And then I got the SS027, which is the deluxe blending crease. And again, they're all really soft, so obviously that's why I picked them up. I can't wait to try those out. Over there. There's a lot of bags in here, guys. So the next one I got, I went to the Guru Makeup Emporium and I got two products from them. I got the Beauty Blender um, Solid Cleanser, because I'm getting low on this. And then I also picked up the RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, obviously there's lots of reviews about this online. I think I picked this up for £7 it was there, so that was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. The next bag. Now this one I thought I did quite well. I was quite restrained considering it was MAC. So I think I did well. Although my friend um, Emmeline, she she spent a lot. She had quite, quite a haul at MAC. But I was quite tame there. Um, so I got two Fix Plus because I'm running out of mine and I thought what better way to stock up on that. I then picked up the Paint Pot in Painterly. I usually use soft ochre, but I thought this was a really nice colour as well to use as a base. The next thing I got was the MAC Lip Liner in Saw. Everyone's always raving about their lip liners, especially this colour, so I thought if I was going to try one from them, it might as well be this one. So let's give that a go. Oh, that is very creamy for a pencil. That's the shade there. Very nice. And then the lipstick I picked up was a Mare. One I've been looking at for a while, so and this is a matte from them. Look at that. Oh, that's the shade there. Just a lovely colour. Can't wait to try that one out too. Then I picked up a blush which I've heard loads of people raving about, and so I thought it was about time I picked it up. So I just got it in one of the refills so I can put it in with my Z palette with my other blushes that I have. And this is Melba. That's the shade. And it's just a nice neutral peachy shade. Oh, that is very pretty. There we go. Can't wait to really try that one out. So also from MAC, something else I've been looking at for a while is their eyeshadows. And I thought I really wanted to try one of their palettes. So I got the 15 Warm Neutral Palette. And that's this one. And again, I've not swatched any of these, so I'm just going to do that now. Pick out a couple of shades. goldy shade is very pretty. They all swatch quite nicely so I look forward to playing around with that one too. As if I didn't have enough palettes I had to go and get more. So that was everything I got from MAC. The next one I've got here is Nanchi. So the first thing I got from them was one of their brush holders. Um, 
I just thought it'd be really good for sort of travelling as well. Um, and I actually took it out of the box to bring some stuff home in so it helped keep my new brushes safe. And then I got four single brushes from Nanchi. So now I like their brushes and there were just a few there that I wanted to try. So I picked up the Conceal Perfector. I love these sort of brushes with concealer and Nanchi brushes are just so soft. I then picked up the Buffed Base. So another one just for foundation. So soft. And then the Flawless Foundation one also. And again, this is just another really soft brush. Absolutely lovely. And then I also picked up the Precise Bent Eyeliner from them. And that's another lovely brush. Next, we got some more brushes. I went to Royal and Langnickel and picked up a set and a single brush from them. So let's have a look at those. So first of all, we'll go with a single brush. So this is one of their new mode of brushes. It's the Complexion Brush BMD185. Obviously, I had to get it in pink because how pretty. And again, it's just another brush that's very similar to the Real Techniques um, expert face brush it's very soft very nice and i can't wait to use that one and then i got one of the new box brush sets and this is cheeky and again they're pink of course now initially when i got these i didn't think they had the name on them um but actually they do but it's just very very light if you look i don't know if you'll be able to see on camera yeah she's picking up it's very very light white um so in this brush set also, just to let you know, I don't know if it's just these, but they smell rather chemically. Um, like it's got a real, really strong chemical scent. So I'm not going to, obviously I generally always wash them anyway, but um, they are still really soft though. So it came with a smudger. It then has a powder brush, which is that one. We then have a bronzer brush, which is just a typical flat top brush. We've then got a complexion brush, which again is very similar to some of those sort of expert face brush type ones, but it's a lot more pinched together, so it would really be good for sort of contouring, you could use it for bronzer, anything like that. And then we've got a pencil liner brush. There is a small eye shader brush. There is a large shader brush. Oh, sorry, this, this is a medium, apparently. Um, I'd say that's quite big, though. Then we have a crease brush, which would be very really good for blending. And then we have a brow liner brush and a lip brush. So, lots of brushes. The next bag I've got here is from Beauty B Cosmetics. So I've got quite a few little goodies in here and some stuff that I get to swatch for you as well. First one, I'm just going to go for the two brushes I got, if I can find them both. So both of these brushes are from Sigma, I really want to try some other brushes from them because I have the E40 um, that I got at Christmas. So I got the High Cheekbone Highlighter, the F03, and that's just that brush there, very soft. And then I really wanted to try the F82 to really compare it to most of the other Kabuki brushes that are out there that people use for foundation and um, see whether it really is worth the money and let you guys know. Then I got quite a few lip products from them and two concealers. So we'll go with the concealers first. I got two of the LA Girl Pro Conceals. I got Natural and Cream Beige, I believe. Yeah. Wasn't quite sure which would be the best match, but they both look to be sort of around the right sort of shade um, between the two of them. Then I got one of the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, and this is in the shade Precious. So let's give this a swatch. I'm going to do this on the back of my hand, I think. Back of my arm, even. Because of them being good lipsticks, that's that one. Then I got two of the Balm Meat Matte Hues. I got Charming and Committed. Okay, so we'll have a look at Charming here, and that is, hmm, they have a bit of a minty scent to them, so that's Charming, and then Committed, oh sorry, that was Committed, sorry, yeah that's, 
and this one's charming. That one's charming there, the lower one. See a little bit deeper. Then I got two of the Galactic Matte Lip Paints. So the first shade I got was Demure. I think it was um, Kathleen Lights that said she really liked these in the formula. So I really wanted to give them a try. This one was Demure. That one. It's very similar to um, Charming actually. And then I got Allure. The lighter shade. These ones, oh, they have a little bit of a sweety candy type scent. And that one's a little one. Okay, guys, so the last one I've got here is NYX. This is where I got quite a bit of stuff. Um, obviously, NYX has just recently come to the UK, but we don't have any stores that are close to me. So let's just dig into this big bag. I actually did two separate trips. I went there on Saturday and I went back on Sunday and picked up a few more bits. So I got the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And some blotting papers. Because recently I found that whenever I use the priming waters, I find that after a while I start to get a bit oily um, if I use them for more than a couple of months at a time. So I thought I'd pick those up and try them out. I then got the Dark Circle Corrector. I got this in the shade Medium. We got two little samples from NYX, so two little Lancome samples, I think they're the same, they're just little samples there which is kind of nice. I also picked up the Pro Foundation Mixer, so this is to make your foundations lighter. I got one of the HD concealers, I got this in the shade Beige. They didn't have any testers unfortunately so it was a case of guess and see what you think. I then have um, the Tame and Frame Brow Pomade as such in chocolate, so I thought I'd give that a try. I then have two of the little blushes from them. I have Coraline and Amber. So I'll do a swatch of these. That's those ones. The amber's very light, it doesn't swatch very highly, but we'll see how that actually lasts on the skin. Next, I got another blush from them. I got one of their new ombre blushes. Um, I don't know if these are actually out in the UK yet, um, but I just wanted to pick one of these up and see what they're like. They certainly look very pretty. So I got the shade Strictly Chic. Um, it's another sort of peachy really blush. You know I love those especially around the summertime and that's it sort of swirled together. The next product I got from NYX was one of their illuminators. Um, I did actually swatch this um, I think yesterday when I was sort of having a look at everything and it does seem quite peachy. Um, I think some people could potentially pull this off as a blush depending on your skin tone. I'm just going to put it next to the blush. Actually, oh no, okay. So when you swatch it next to the blush, you can see that a lot more. Definitely better as a highlight. Very lovely. And that was the only highlighter I got. I'm very surprised. I'm usually quite high on the highlighters. So, all the rest... Oh no, I think I've got two eyeliners and the rest are lip products. So we'll have a look at the eyeliners. Not just two sort of a nice platinum colour and then a white to see how they work out. That seems to swatch quite nicely. Yeah, the pigmentation on these are very good. So that's those two shades there, the white and the platinum. Okay, let's get all of the lip products out. So I got two lip liners, so we'll start with those. I got um, Pink Catalupe, which is this one. That's that shade there. And I picked up Bed Rose. Which 
just from the packaging they just look like really pretty colours. Nice deep colour there. So those look absolutely lovely. And then I got pretty much one of most of the different lip products there so I could sort of really give them a try out. So I've got one of the butter lipsticks and this is in the shade Fizzy. Shade there. Ooh. It does swatch a bit uneven at first and it's quite a shiny formula. So that's that one. Then I got the Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. Oh, this is quite bright. It is very much a gloss, so it's not so bad. Then I got a Soft Matte Lip Cream in the colour Istanbul. Oh, that's very nice. And then an intense butter gloss in the shade Plutonian. That's that one. And the last product I got, guys, was a liquid suede. Um, what's the shade? Soft spoken. And that's that one. Really nice nude. So that's everything guys, obviously there's quite a lot there, um, as I said if there's any particular reviews you'd like to see first or any tutorials you'd like to see with certain palettes or anything like that let me know and I'll certainly look at doing those for you as soon as possible. But thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, go follow me over on Instagram and Snapchat, thanks guys, bye!